Hi, so today we are entering the chapter of kinematic of linear motion uh, and we are learning, we are going to learn about linear motion graphs. Alright, so, um, so here's the question, okay? Uh, taken from PSPM 2008-2009, question 10A, huh? question 10A. So if you look carefully, this is a displacement time graph, okay? Displacement time graph, S T graph or X T graph, it's the same, yeah? S or X is the same, displacement time graph. So let's read together. Figure 5 shows a graph of displacement against time of an object moving along X axis. Okay, this is a displacement time graph. Uh, first of all, this is a displacement graph. Uh, calculate the average velocity uh, for time interval 1 to 4 seconds. Okay, average speed for time interval 1 to 4 seconds. Instantaneous velocity at 2.5 seconds. And instantaneous acceleration at 5.5 seconds. Uh, so you see, um, there is a difference between average and instantaneous, okay? If you look carefully, average here, it has a certain time interval. Uh, it has a certain range of time. Range of time, 1 to 4 seconds. But for instantaneous, uh, it is a certain time, like 2.5 seconds, certain time, specific time, a certain point of time. Uh, so this is the difference between average and instantaneous average has a range of time instantaneous has a specific time okay this is the first thing you must know and then uh here we must also understand what's happening in the graph this is a displacement time graph okay displacement this is a displacement graph displacement graphs uh, okay so uh, what's actually happening in the graph, okay? Uh, so maybe we can um, uh, under try to understand, okay? Uh, if you look carefully, I have drawn here a graph below here, uh, see? Okay, let's look uh, what happened between 0 to 2 seconds. You see, from 0 to 2 seconds, the object moved forward, moved to the right, uh, moved to the right to 4 meter, like this one, you see? Uh, this, here's the origin, the object initially at origin, start from origin. The, the object move forward, move to the right for 4 meter. Uh, move to the right 4 meter. Okay, and then after reaching 4 meter, the car move to the left, move backward to negative 3 meter. Uh, the car move to the left until negative 3 meter. Negative 3 means... 3 meter behind origin. Uh, 3 meter behind origin. So the car moved from 4 meter to negative 3 meter. Yeah? So from here, negative from 4 to negative 3. And then at here, at negative 3 meter, it stopped. Uh, it stopped from 3 to 5 seconds. Stop for 2 seconds. It stopped temporarily. It stopped here. It stopped over here. It stopped temporarily. Okay? And then after that, uh, he... The car moved to the right, moved back to origin, back to zero. Uh, the car moved back, moved to the right, back to origin, zero. When the graph goes back to zero, means the object moved back to zero. Uh, the object moved back to origin. Okay? Uh, so this is what happened. Lah. Yeah? Here, the car stopped temporarily. Okay? Now, uh, go back to the question number one. Okay, go back to question number one. So, how to find the average velocity for this time interval 1 to 4 seconds? Okay, so first of all, we must know the definition of average velocity. Average velocity is total displacement over total time taken. Okay, and velocity is a vector. So that's why we use displacement instead of distance. Okay, we use displacement also vector because velocity is a vector. So use displacement. So total displacement uh, for to over total time. 
So for this time interval, 1 to 4 seconds, how much displacement has the car moved? You see? 1 to 4 seconds. So where is 1 to 4 seconds? Okay, 1 to 4 seconds. That means over here. Uh, from here, 1 second. Uh, over here, from here, to 4 seconds. Until here. Uh, so from here to here. Uh, so, this is the initial point. This is the final point. So, how much? So, for displacement, for displacement, we always take the shortest path between initial and final point. That means shortest path from initial, initial to final point. That means straight away down. Ah... Uh, this is the displacement, initial to final point, straight line. Okay, so from initial to final, how much displacement? Uh, 2 to negative 3, that means a total of negative 5. Uh, you move to the left, 2 plus, neg 2 plus 3 is 5. So go backward, go to the left is negative 5. Uh, 2 to negative 3 is negative 5. So this is the? Displacement. We can say this is the displacement. Okay. Uh, so now I can write here. Uh, so the answer is negative 5. Okay. Over the time of 4 minus 1. Uh, 1 to 4 seconds. So 4 minus 1. Or you can look over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is the displacement from 2 to negative 3. So, this is uh, 2 to negative 3 is negative 5. Okay? Uh, because this is the initial point, this is the final point. Okay? The negative 5. Uh, so, negative 5 lah. Okay? So, what's the answer? Sorry. Uh, okay. So, negative 5 divided by 3. So, you will get negative uh, 1.67 meter per second. Okay. So, remember this is a vector. Velocity is a vector. So, you must give the direction. Uh, negative means to the left. So, ve vector, velocity, you must give direction also. Okay. Uh, to the left. Now, uh, second question. What's the average speed? For the time interval 1 to 4 seconds. So, average speed. Uh, average speed definition is total distance divided by total time. Scalar quantity. Speed, scalar. So, that's why I use distance, scalar. Okay? So, distance is the total path. Okay? It's not the shortest path. It's the total path. Uh, total path. Total path means... Um, you see, yeah? Also, for the same time interval, 1 to 4 seconds. So, total path. From 1 to 4 seconds, total path is... Uh, from 2 go to 4, that means how much distance is it? Uh, 2 to 4 is uh, 2 meter. And then 4 go... Uh, 2 to 4. I don't know. Uh, 2 meter, go 2 to 4, 2 meter. And then 4 to negative 3, which is 7 meter. Uh, and then negative 3... To here, yeah, to 4 seconds, uh, is 0. So, uh, doesn't move. So, the total path, uh, this one is the, this one is the distance. Distance is 2 plus 7, okay? Distance is 2 plus 7, which is uh, equal to 9 meter. Understand? Uh, okay? Or we can say like, we can look at here, it's like here. Um, yeah, 2 to 4, 2 meter, and then 4 to negative 3, uh, which is 7 meter. Uh, this so this is the, you can say this is the distance, the total path, 2 plus 7. Okay? So, the total distance is 2 plus 7 meter, divided by the time taken is 4 minus 1, 1 to 4 seconds. Okay, so we have 9 meter divided by 3 seconds. So we have 3 meter 
per second. So that's the answer. No direction because speed is a scalar. No need direction. Okay? So we have done two questions already. Okay? Average velocity and average speed. Now, instantaneous velocity at this time, 2.5 second. Uh, so for instantaneous velocity, we look for gradient of the graph. Gradient of the graph. Okay, 2.5 second, where is it? 2.5 second. Ah, 2.5 second is 2, 2, 3. 2.5 is over here. Uh, 2.5 second. So we want to find the gradient of this graph because instantaneous velocity means for gradient of the graph. So gradient of this straight line graph. Uh, yeah, this straight line graph. We can say we can find the, the triangle. We can draw a triangle here. Ah, uh, draw a triangle here. So the gradient of this triangle of this this line. Okay. So we look for here and here. Okay. So negative three minus four. Find the gradient of this triangle. Okay. Negative three minus four divided by three minus two. Uh, okay. Negative three. Uh, which did negative one did negative three minus four divided by three minus two. Okay. So okay. So negative you can write here. I uh, see. Velocity at that time is the gradient of the ST graph, DSDT. So just now is what? Just now is using the triangle. Uh, negative 3 and 4. Okay. So you have negative 3 minus 4. Divide by, find the gradient. Yeah, gradient. Uh, and then is a, uh, how much time? 2 to 3 seconds, that means 3 minus 2, 3 minus 2, so 3 minus 2, so we have what? We have negative 7 divided by 1, uh, so we have negative 7 meter per second, okay? And this is the velocity vector, so it must give direction, it must give direction, sorry, direction to the left why to the left why to the left because it's negative negative means to the left uh, okay the post the neg the sign shows the direction so negative is to the left okay we got the question three now question four instantaneous acceleration at this time 5.5 second so where is 5.5 second 5.5 second is over. 5.5 second is over here. That means over here. Ah, okay. So, um, how to do this? Uh, acceleration. Oh, acceleration. Uh, first, we will look at this. This is a displacement time graph. This is a displacement time graph. The displacement time graph, the gradient is, the gradient is velocity. Yeah, because the SDT is velocity. So, but you see, this is a straight line graph. This is a straight line graph. So we can say the graph is the graph is constant gradient because linear graph is not a curve. This 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 is not a curve. Uh, uh, this is a straight line graph. It's a straight line. The gradient is constant. The SDT is the SDT is constant, the gradient is constant. You see the triangle all identical. All identical. So the DSDT never changed. The gradient is constant. So velocity constant. So when velocity constant, acceleration zero. Okay. Uh, when S when uh, V constant, acceleration zero. So we can write like that. Okay. Uh, so you see. V constant is a linear graph, so that's why we can say acceleration is zero, no acceleration, because velocity constant, no acceleration. Okay, so that's the answer for all the questions. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the, today's lesson. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel. Okay, for more uh, videos to come. Thank you. Bye.